Do engineers make good accountants? If you're an engineer or an engineering student, you might say, well, yeah, they do. They have to understand lots of complex math. They have to understand and merge the knowledge of a ton of different topics, which makes them good at organizing and collecting data. And they have to be good at analytical thinking because of all the complex problems they solve. Now, these are really good points, but they don't really get down to the core of the discussion. Analytical thinking, math, and organization are some general traits that people might associate with engineering. But if we really wanna find out if an engineer would make a good accountant, we have to understand the similarities and the differences between the two fields, and then we can take these differences, similarities, and decide if maybe an engineer would make a good accountant or not. So let's start off by examining accounting just so we have a basic understanding of what the different types of accountants are. For example, we have management accountants who work with big corporations to help them make good financial decisions. You have CPAs or public accountants who do a myriad of different tasks from tax accounting to financial planning to auditing. And you have another category, which is one of my personal favorites, which is forensic accounting and closely related, you have auditing. So hopefully based on these titles, you're able to get a general understanding of what each different kind of accountant might do. Since all of these accountants are different, I'm going to try and take a more general view and identify traits that I think every accountant would need to succeed. And I'm going to give it a difficulty score out of 10 for how difficult it would be for your average engineer to try and learn or pick up on these traits or skills. One trait that comes to mind immediately is being good with numbers. Now, you don't have to be amazing with numbers, but you do have to understand basic math, how to use Excel, how to do some basic formulas in Excel, and how to do some advanced formulas in Excel, such as finding the weighted average cost of capital, projecting cash flows into the future, and using multiple different formulas to decide if a project will provide you with a positive net present value. Some of these formulas an engineer might know how to do, but it's possible that there's a lot that they don't know how to do. But I can speak from experience that even the most complicated accounting formulas can be learned pretty easily by an engineering student as long as you are interested in the field. So this in my view is the first hurdle that an engineer needs to overcome. So I'm gonna give this a four out of 10 on the difficulty scale on how difficult it would be for an engineer to learn it. Now, just a disclaimer, I'm not an accountant and I've only ever taken a few courses in accounting in university. So if you're an accountant or you're an engineer who converted into accountant, it's entirely possible that you will disagree with some of my ratings. But I would love to hear your perspective in the comments down below, letting me know why you disagree and maybe opening me up to a completely new perspective. Secondly, accountants have to be extremely organized. Being an accountant sometimes is just taking stacks of papers and receipts and turning them into a format that's actually discernible and usable for the reader. People can lack organization regardless of the field that they're in because being organized takes a lot of effort. You have to explore different systems and most people aren't willing to put in the work that it takes to actually be an organized human being. However, I wanna counter this by saying that most people in engineering likely have some level of self-management or organization because as an engineer, you will have tons of different tasks and as a student, you're gonna to have tons of different courses. So you have to be organized on some level. But even with this base level of organization, I would venture to say that probably half of the engineers out there do not have the level of organization that it requires to be an accountant. So for the 50% of unorganized engineers out there, I'm gonna give this a seven out of 10 difficulty score. The reason that I scored this so high is because when compared to almost any other field, accounting requires probably one of the highest levels of organizational skills of any job. Mm. Third, accountants have to have a fine attention to detail. They have to really care about making sure that their work is as close to perfect as possible because adding an extra zero or flipping two numbers where they shouldn't be flipped can cause some big problems. This is a trait that I believe engineers have in abundance. A lot of the work that engineers do has to be extremely precise or literally everything will break. You'll know what I'm talking about if you've ever accidentally put a semicolon in the wrong place while trying to code something. Almost every engineering field requires a high level of precision. I think that this is especially true for something like civil engineering where you have to meticulously plan out each and every measurement and if you screw it up, it could cost you billions of dollars or people's lives. So therefore, I'm willing to say that 
engineers are very well adept to having fine attention to detail, and that learning and upping their skill to an accounting level would be a 2 out of 10 difficulty. Fourth, and probably the skill that engineers are lacking the most, is communication skills. If you ask any successful accountant, they will attest to the fact that what got them so far was not their ability to do math or reconcile a ledger, but rather their ability to communicate with their customers and their ability to present information to managers in a format that they will understand. Now, when you do go into the engineering field, it's likely that you'll come across scenarios where you are going to have to present information to somebody who isn't as good at physics and math. However, that doesn't mean that you'll be good at it or that you're going to enjoy doing it. And especially for engineers in an entry-level role, it's likely that the people on their team are also going to be fellow engineers and their boss will probably likely also be an engineer, so you don't really have to learn how to tell people what it is you're doing. However, in accounting, you are going to be dealing with people all day long and having strong relationships with them is what can make or break your career, especially if you are going to open your own practice one day. That being said, you can say the same thing for almost any entrepreneurial venture, but generally speaking, engineers aren't known for their ability to communicate across different groups of people. This being the case, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10 difficulty score. The reason for doing this is because I think lots of engineers would find the levels of relationship management needed in accounting to be quite overwhelming at the beginning. This would probably be the one thing that would prevent most engineers from entering the accounting field, but communication is something that you can work on simply by putting yourself out there in uncomfortable situations, by talking to strangers, or even something as simple as asking a question in class. And last but not least, we have ethics. I think that this is going to be a win for most engineers, because as I said in the attention to detail part, engineers often have people's lives in their hands, so they're very well adjusted to dealing with ethical problems, just as accountants are very accustomed to dealing with government and ensuring that they're doing it ethically, because the government doesn't like it very much when you break their rules. So I'm pretty confident that engineers already have this skill and I'm gonna give this a one out of 10 on the difficulty scale because I know engineers already have it. So what's the final verdict? Can engineers make good accountants? Well, after analyzing all of the different traits and how difficult it would be for engineers to learn, my answer to that question is going to be yes, if you're willing to put in the effort it takes to become a organized and sociable person or if you already are an organized and sociable person. In that case, I think you will make a great accountant. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more from me. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch this video. I hope that I was able to shine some light on the topic of engineers making good accountants, and let me know what you thought in the comments down below. I would love to discuss engineering accounting with you. With that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one.